All right, I am in a back alley right now, and I'm going to explain to you what stuttering is. I'm next. In the past, I've found this kind of difficult to to sum up in like a two minute kind of sentence that you can understand and resonate with because when I explain stuttering, I usually love to go into the depths of it and that takes a, that takes a long time. But my goal in this video is to give you the most concise answer of why you are stu why you are stuttering and a little bit into what causes it too. If you don't know who I am, I'm Chase Gillis and I help people overcome stuttering as I grew up with a pretty bad stutter. It went, it went, it's not the most severe, the most severe, the most severe stutter I've ever seen. Definitely not, but I definitely had my on and off moments where there was months I just couldn't talk at all. And there was some weeks where I was like, I was fine and it's up and down, up and down. And I'm sure you know what that's like. Um, so basically, oh, before I hop into it, I just want to say I created a free training for people who, for people who stutter completely free. It took me quite a, quite a long time to create it. So I would appreciate if you checked it out and honestly, future you is already thanking you for check, for checking this out. So it's a free four day training you can get into and learn the exact steps to overcome your stutter. It's the first link down below in the description. So let's talk about why, no, not why. What is a stutter? Basically, as simply put as possible, your stutter is what happens when you get put in your head. That's it, all right? Your stutter is what happens when you get put in your head. And I feel like we all inherently know this. this is a this is an inherent truth. We know we stut we stutter the most when we're thinking the most, when we're anticipating the most, when we're fearing the most. And we know we're the most eff we know we're the most effortless when this shit isn't activated. So that's as simply put without diving into like big 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 words but i want to talk about what puts us in our head like why are we getting put in our head and being put in our head is just a fill a word is just a label i'm using for this all right we get put in our head when we feel it's unsafe to express ourselves freely that's it all right when we feel it's unsafe to express ourselves freely. And let, let me give you an example on this. Let's say you're talking to your dog or talking to a dog. Not, it doesn't have to be your dog if you don't have a dog. You're talking to a dog. I want you to actually imagine it. What are, what are you going to say to the dog? You may be like, I don't know. I'll just fucking speak. I don't know. I'll just say, oh, what's up, buddy? Blah, blah, blah. Like, you're, you're not going to think about it. You're, you're not going to think about how you speak. You're just going to express yourself freely. It doesn't matter what I say to the dog. It's just a dog. Now, I want you to imagine you go from playing with your dog and now you walk into a bar. You, you walk into a bar and you see 10 of your high school classmates you haven't seen in years, all being loud, all drunk, like, yo, what's up, man? Yo, what's up? How how are you gonna start a conversation with these people? When they're all speaking very quickly around you, how are you gonna join in the conversation? What are What are you gonna say? The, the thoughts in your head of like, how, how would I express myself be, become a lot more filtered? They're like, uh, well, it depends on the context. Well, um, it depends how I'm feeling. Well, it wasn't like that with dog. Like, of course you, ha you have to be congruent, like in social interactions. That's not what I mean. 
I mean the, the level of safety you feel to express yourself without thinking to a dog versus the environments most of us start most of us stutter the, the most in is you you feel safe to express yourself without needing to think when you when you're with a dog so as a result you're an effortless speaker this is why we stutter we stutter when we get put in our head and we get put in our head as a defense mechanism to feeling like I, I, I have to be somebody else. I can't free flow my thoughts. There has to be a filter of, is this good enough? Is this going to make them like me? Will I be seen as cool if I say this? Will, will I look weird if I say this? Will I stutter on this ward if I say this? We don't think this with the dog. We think this in the situations we stutter the most in. We get put in our head. And now how to overcome this. This is what's broken down um, inside of my free four day training. So there's four pillars. There's four pillars you need to do. There's four pillars you need to understand. There's four pillars you need to take action on in, in order to overcome your stutter and be this effortless version of yourself. This effortless version of like free flowing speaking to your dog or speaking to a very comfortable friend there's four pillars that really put you in your head there's, there's a cat right here let me zoom in on him i can't see him you can see him there near the red car i don't know if you can anyway he's staring at me there's four pillars that there's four main steps that put you in your head and there's four things we need to work on all right and i just explained one of them and I think I made it pretty clear what it is, but I'll throw you the label of what it's called. Is it's the overvaluation of other people's judgments of us. That's what it is. All right. You don't care what a dog thinks about you. But you're deathly afraid of getting judged inside that group setting. And we're afraid to get judged. We have that fear of, we have that fear of judgment. Because of how we relate to it. Because the beliefs and the stories we tell ourselves about what, how, who we would be if we're not seen as cool in their eyes. Or self-worth if they don't approve of us. If they don't like us. And you, this is one of the pillars to overcome your, to overcome your stutter. So if you want to learn how to actually overcome it. And... Um, yeah that like this is just one of the pillars and if you want to learn how to overcome the fear of being judged so you can express yourself freely and the three other pillars in order to overcome your stutter take a look at this free training that i made first link down below in the description completely free for now so make sure you hop in and um that's why we stutter peace